fancy little uh, thing here is going to work for me. Oh, that's going to look great. Wooly booger. Now we're dealing. All right. Let me make sure I get it back. All right. Oh, You are. I am on my feet. I guess I'll do it anyway. Oh, wait, well, it'll be just fine. I'm going to take this thing down the lake. I'm going to catch something on it. What do you think? As soon as I could, I know what you have. Praise the Lord. All right, the book of Daniel, chapter oh, number three. Funny. Book of Daniel, chapter number three. Isn't it good to see each other's faces? Oh, yes. yes. Amen. Yes. It, I know it's a little bit cool, and that's all right. I want it to be cool because it keeps these flies away from me. You know what it is. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so. Book of Daniel, chapter number three. I'm going to let you keep your seat. That way you don't have to jump out of the car or anything of that nature. But uh, we're just going to read down through verse number seven and uh, get into the message that the Lord really laid on my heart the past few days. And uh, with everything Bless going on, uh, I just I just felt led to preach on this this morning. And uh, I, I believe this would be the will of God. And uh, hopefully it will be a help to each and every one of us. All right. Uh, Daniel, chapter three, verse number one. Nebuchadnezzar, the king, made an image of gold whose height was three score cubits, and the breadth thereof six cubits. He set it up in the plain of Dura in the province of Babylon. Then Nebuchadnezzar, the king, sent to gather together the princes, the governors, and the captains, the judges, the treasurers, the counselors, the sheriffs, and all the rulers of the province to come to the dedication of the image uh, which Nebuchadnezzar, the king, had set up. Then the princes, the governors, and captains, the judges, the treasurers, the counselors, the sheriffs, and all the rulers of the provinces, all the well-to-do folk, all the people with nice titles, <laughs> were gathered together unto the dedication of the image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. And they stood before the image that Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Then, and Herod cried aloud, To you it is commanded, O people, nations, and languages. He said, Everybody, it's commanded. That at the time you hear the sound of the cornet, the flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, dulcimer, and all kinds of music, you fall down and worship the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar, mm. the king, had set up. And whoso falleth not down and worship it, shall be same hour, shall at same hour be cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Therefore, at that time, when all the people heard the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, and the kinds of music, all the people, the nations, and the languages fell down and worshipped oh, the golden image my, my. that Nebuchadnezzar the king <coughs> had set up. We're going to look at a very, very familiar portion of scripture here this morning about three young Hebrew, uh, Hebrew boys by the name of Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. These young men, of course, we all know them as Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, mm. but I do like their Hebrew name, Hananiah, yes. Mishael, and Azariah, better than the name that Nebuchadnezzar gave to them. Right. Mm. Amen. Yeah. Amen. But anyway. Uh, these young men were friends of Daniel's, and these three young men, they had something that's missing uh, in today. They had something called a backbone. Right. These young men, they had uh, what's called a backbone about them. They had a little grit and a crawl, so to speak. Right. And uh, these were young men that were willing to stand regardless of what it may cost them. They, regardless of whether it take their life, whether it take their house, whether it take their living, whatever, they were not giving up right. what, what God had given to them and not giving up. Uh, serving their Lord. They were young men that were willing to stand. These men uh, are, are what is lacking in society today. We're lacking that. And a lot of times, unfortunately, we are lacking that in the churches of our day. Mm, we're lacking yeah. people that have any uh, any kind of gumption about yes. it. We're lacking yeah. people that will stand and stand for this Bible. They, they, they just won't do it. People are just wanting to go with the flow. And, and unfortunately this morning, going with the flow means you're going against God because the flow isn't going with God. No, it's not. That's right. They don't want to make any waves. I'm sorry, but if you're going to stand for God, Brother Mike, waves are going to happen. Yes, they are. You're going to make some waves. You can't throw, you can't, 
Brother Peter, you can't you can't take your boat and go out and go get some lobster without making a little weight. Right. Without making some waves in your background, right? It doesn't matter what you do. Whenever you're cutting through and you're going against the grain, what happens whenever a wave's coming at you and you hit that thing straight ahead? You bust it wide open. Right. You're, you're, if things are going to happen. It's uncomfortable when you go against the grain. Mm. Yes, but sir. It yeah. is ne necessary for us. Now at the time, it, 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 now's not the time for us to shove our heads into the sand. Now's not the time. For us to say, right? Oh, we'll just, yeah. we're just listening. We'll, we'll hopefully be good little boys and good little girls. Now, listen. You'll never find anybody that, that don't believe any more than that Christians should be the best citizens. Yes, sir. That Christians mm, right. should be the best citizens in the world. Christians yeah. should be the hardest workers. You will not find anybody that believes that any different than mm. I. But I am going to tell you this morning: it's time that we yes, sir. Yes, right. Christians will yeah. not let anyone tell us when, where, and how we are going. To Amen, that preacher. Church. Right. <clears throat> we're not going to have anyone give us rules to worship God. And that's what was happening here with Nebuchadnezzar. Mm -hmm. He was saying, you, you, you know, and even in chapter 2, he was saying that, uh, uh, that God was the most high God. But here he is saying now that you will fall down and you will worship me. If not, you will be burned in the furnace. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's time that we stand. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Not concerned of the outcome, but rather we stand. Because, Lord, if it satisfies you, yes, it satisfies yes, you. sir, right. amen. We have far too long in society been feeling led. Mm. Oh, sure. I've got a good feeling about it, so I'm glad to do that. We've been family led. We've been mama led. Yes, family -led. sir. It's time that we get God led. Yes, yeah, sir. Right. It's time that we let God have the preeminence in our life. Amen, if preacher. That makes, if that makes mama ha uh, unhappy, if it makes daddy unhappy, I don't Preach. care. It's what God wants us to do. Yes, God sir. Wants us to lead God. Men sitting out here in this parking lot, it's time for us to lead our home. Amen. It's time for us to lead the church. Yes, sir. God has set it up that we are responsible. That's exactly for right. It's up yep. to us. Right. Yep. It's up to us, Brother Matt. To pastor our, ham, our yeah. family. Amen. It's not up to me to pastor your family. It's up to me to pastor you and pastor you here at the church. But it's up to you to pastor your home. It's not up to me to come in right. and sit down with you yeah. in your home and say, well, this is how things should be. This is how right. no, no, no. That's your job, Betty. That's not my job. That's right. Mm. My job is to preach the word. My job is to pastor this church and pastor you here. And if you need some help or you need some. Yes, sir. Church, yeah. It's not the right. pastor's job, Brother Mike, to go in and make Mama mad at him. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. So it's time we stand up and be men. If fear's in your house, Daddy, it's your fault. Yeah. Yes. If the love of God's not in your house, Daddy, Preach. it's your fault. Yes, sir. If love's not, love of God's not in my house, if devotion's not being done in my house, right. if prayer's not being done in my house, brother, Amen. Brother, fault is it? Mm. Sure. It's mine. Yep. You're right, it's preacher. It's my fault, yeah. Miss Arlene. Nobody else. Brother Tom, it's my fault because I'm my job as a daddy is to pastor my home. That's right. So let me ask you this this morning. When these boys here, they stood against Nebuchadnezzar. The question this morning is, what would you have done? Oh, my. What would you have done when faced with this situation, these boys? Unfortunately, in our society, many would have bowed down. You're right. And done exactly what the tyrant wanted. Mm. Yep, they're doing From all accounts of Scripture, everyone else did. Brother Peter, everybody did exactly what he wanted them to do. Sure. Except for these boys. Amen. Mm. The Amen. Rosemary, they said, I'm not doing it. Here it is. Can you imagine? Hundreds, maybe thousands of people <laughs> bowed down when everything happened. Bowed down, and here's these boys. Mm -hmm. Not happening. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Standing there looking around. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. You know what I think they were doing? I think they're probably sitting there praying. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Because you know it would have took more than just them mm -hmm. to stand. Sure. It would have took God all over. Yeah. Them. Absolutely. Yeah. We talked last week about times are going to get tough. Remember? Sure. Yeah. They're going to get tough. Yep. Let me ask you a question. When they do get tough, so Matt, what are we going to do? What would you have done? Let's pray. Father, I love you. Mm. Lord, I thank you, God, for your many blessings in our lives. And Father, I thank you, God, for the opportunity to stand here in this parking lot and preach the word of Amen. God. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the abilities and the opportunities that you have afforded us. Father, yes, thank you, Father. Meet with, uh, with our church, Lord, to be able to praise your name together. And, Lord, I just pray, God, that you just uh, touch the message, Lord, touch the hearts of the people. Mm. And, Father, we'll give you the glory for all that you do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. I want us to understand from the beginning of this message right here today that this is not, it is 
not a political message. Right. right? This is not a political message. It's not because I'm scared of uh, politics or somebody coming down on me. That's not what it is. I'll jump right in the midst of the public arena and have no problems getting there at all. It's time the church, by the way, gets into the public arena. Yeah. Yes. We'll about that another day. But uh, what I'm saying is that's not, it, that's not the thrust of this message to be political by no stretch of the imagination. However, as your pastor, Miss Rosemary, I would be amiss if I didn't handle events that we're going through. I would not be right if That's I didn't right. show you what right. the Bible says about things that were happening then mm -hmm. that apply to what yes, we sir. Now That's right. the pastor. It is my job to do that, and that's what we are doing this morning. Mm. Uh, however, we, we, have, we look at these young men this morning, and these young men that the Bible tells us, how they stood for God when an ungodly decree yeah. was made. An ungodly decree by the king was made saying that you will bow down and you'll worship me. Uh -huh. And these young men, they stood against it. So let's think back on chapter number two as we talked just a moment. The king had, had acknowledged the supremacy of Daniel's God. And yet he, correct, uh, he erects an image to Baal and also to himself and demanding divine honor. This was probably a state policy in which the empire of people, nations, and languages that could bow down and be there. Because, see, you won't have unity. They could never have unity there until everybody was doing exactly That's the same right. Thing. Yeah. That's right. And the king knew that. The king yeah. knew Nebuchadnezzar knew Brother Tom. And until he had everybody doing exactly what he wanted them to do, he didn't have right. unity there. Right. Right. That's just a struggle of power. Mm -hmm. Three young men here, they stood alone amid the prostrate throne that day. Folks bowed down, but here they were. They were standing. Mm. They had to be supported, as we said just a moment ago, from God. They would not argue. They said, I'm not going to argue. You can kill us if you want to. But we are going to be pleasing to God. They said we'd rather please God mm. than please you, sir. Yeah. Yep. We understand. We understand that government has been set up by God. We'll cover that here shortly. And we understand that. But not when government goes against God. That's right. That's right. Amen. Hebrews 11, 33 says, Who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weakness were made strong, waxed valiant in fight, turned to flight in armies of the aliens. That's my God that can do this. Right. Yeah. Do we believe that today these young men and uh, what they did, no matter the cost, do we believe like they did, no matter the cost, no matter what the persecution may happen, no matter what people may say about you, no matter what the decree may be, I will stand with God. Yes. Keep in mind, my friend, that actions speak louder yes, than Yes, sir. Actions speak a whole lot. Talk is cheap. Sure. Talk is cheap. I'll never bow down. I'll never bow down to what they want me to do. I'll never deny God. I'll never have somebody tell me when, where, and how I can worship God. Be careful. Right. Because they're going to try. You're exactly yes, right. Mm. We need to put the action behind our talk. Mm. Or we'll just bow down as the rest of the sheep do. Oh, my. Now, keep in mind, these men didn't stand. Brother Peter, these, these men didn't stand to prove their manhood. No. He didn't stand right. and say, I'm a man. Yeah. I'm not preaching this to prove, ain't nobody going to tell me what to do. Yeah. I'm not opening church because that chief telling me, I am doing all this just as these men stood. Yes, thank God. Of the faith in right. which I have in my God. Amen. Amen. My God told me not to forsake the assembling of ourselves. Yes, yes sir. My right. God told me to open up the doors of the church. Mm. My God yep. said to lead this flock in a way. Yes, yes sir. Amen. 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 That's now, good preaching. Right. Pastor, I don't believe that. Then you don't believe in my leadership. Mm. Sure. That's right. If you don't believe in that, then how could you ever follow somebody that you don't believe in? Mm. I'm not asking you to be a man follower by no means. No way. But as Paul said, be ye followers of me as I also am of Christ. That's right. exactly right. Look at that this morning. These men stood, mm. Brother Peter. They stood in faith, not to prove anything. Right. Not to say, I'm a man, ain't nobody going to tell me what to do. No. They stood in humility mm. before their God. Yes, exactly right. Miss Michelle, they didn't worry about what was going to happen to them. Nope. They said, I'm going to stand for God in faith. They weren't mm. trying to start a fight. I'm not trying to start a fight this No, time. sir. No. I don't want to fight the government. No. I don't want to fight President Trump. No. 
They got a whole lot more money and more. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody ever know where I'm at. I'd be lobster bait. Amen. Somebody had me in a trap down there somewhere. <laughs> Pete will get you out. Uh, Pete, when you, see, when you see me in one of your traps, buddy, just say, well, God bless you. <laughs> Like I said, they're not trying to start a fight. We're not trying to start a fight. No. no. We're just taking a stand to be faithful. That's right. Yes, sir. That's right. We're just taking a stand to be faithful. Mm. Yep. If God is for any and uh, all decrees of government, then why did he choose to record that these young men standing against it? Mm. People will say, oh, Pastor Hebrews 13. Or, I'm sorry, Romans 13. Romans 13. Yeah, Hebrews 13 is a good one, too. We'll yeah. that one up later. We won't get into that one this morning. But Romans 13. And we're supposed to obey government. Sure. When they're doing good. Right. right. When they're doing right. Yep. But when they stand against God, yep. who are you supposed to stand with? Mm, mm. Good preaching. Who are we supposed to stand with when the, we had a discussion yesterday in our kitchen with our children about uh, who to obey, when to obey them? <clears throat> and I said, you're to obey your parents, right? That's right. All, yep, yep. Children to obey, obey parents. your parents. Lord what if I told church. you to do something sinful? Would you obey your parents or would you obey God? They kind of looked at me dumbfounded. Mm. Like, I, 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 don't, I don't know. Hey, listen, regardless of what it is, obey God. That's yes, right. sir. Regardless, it doesn't matter. If I tell you to do something sinful, then obey God. Yes. You don't have, I mean, I'm talking to my children. I'm not talking to y'all. What I'm saying is that it, 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 we obey God. No, no matter what decrees are made, no matter what injustices are made, no matter what they're saying, no matter what governmental orders are made, if it goes against the Bible, I am against it. Amen. Amen. And we right. should be as children of God. They said it doesn't matter. Said, said, put me in the fire. I'm standing against it. Yes. Why, why, why is Paul shown in Scripture for standing against God if we're supposed to obey government all the time? Mm. Right. Oh, why, my. Why, why yeah. is he for standing for God and being arrested? He went against the decrees of government. Yes, he did. he did. He went against the decrees that they were made. Saying, <laughs> they put him in jail. You can, you can mm. only have this and only have that. Yeah. Paul said, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to obey God. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Right. So, yes, God is for government. Absolutely. I'm for government. Sure. I pray for our government every single day. Absolutely. I pray for our federal. I pray for our local. I, I pray for our state. I pray for each and every one of them. Yes. Mm. Why? Because I appreciate them. Sure. Without Bible them, tells us we to. would be in a mess. Yep. And if some get in, we're going to be in a mess. Mm. <laughs> we're in a bigger mess. We might as well not have one. Yeah. If some of them get in. Mm -hmm. Days are drawing short here for us. Guys. Yes, they are. They're drawing short. I'm looking for Christ to appear at any moment. Oh, Amen. Amen. What a day. Nice? Oh, yes. yes. Come, right Lord there. Jesus. Hear that? Hear that? Horn? Yeah. Yep. That's mm. one I'll bow down for. Oh, yeah. 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 We out of here. Look up. Look, wife, you got the seat, too. Yeah. Praise <laughs> 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 Turn around. <laughs> Yes. Yes, sir. Are we going to sit back and wait oh. six months before we can go out and do anything? No. Are we going to wait five, six, seven months before? Preach on. Yeah. No. no. We need Jesus now. Yes, yes sir. Right. We need Jesus now. Yes. Absolutely. I don't know about y'all. I, get, I, got, I come to every service. Mm. No one able to. I, come, I close it down. I did what, did what she wanted to do for six weeks. Yep. Showed the showed the government we're willing to comply. Yeah. Sure. You start overreaching. Yes. Show the community right. we're willing to comply. But I do not want this community, brother Mike Brown, to look at me mm. and say you could have come to my house, you could have told me about Jesus, right. yeah. but you were more scared about what the governor was. Yes, yeah. sir. Right. Yeah. They need Jesus. Yes, yes. absolutely. When we get there to the to the uh, great white throne, they look at you and say, "Why not? Why don't you tell me?" Oh yeah. my. Oh my. Well, I told me I could. Yeah. yeah, oh my. Yeah. Good comply. preaching. We've done what we're supposed to do. Yeah. Yes, sir. It's time that we stand. Yes, sir. Mm. Good preaching. As long as we're here, mm. <laughs> we ought to make much of God's house. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. Amen. Yes, sir. We should be making much of God's house. Let's look this morning and ask ourselves what would we have done? What would we have done? Look with me in Daniel 3 8. Daniel 3, 8. Now, I hope I don't offend anybody if I accidentally reach down here and grab my coffee. <laughs> it's warm. I'm going to try to drink water the whole time. You want to call me a compromise? Oh. Don't let Brother Bale get 
get a hold of. <laughs> he, he probably said, drink it, son, drink it. Come on. You're, you're still alive. Yeah, get that put out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Pretty good. Let's look, let's look here in verse number eight. I want you to see the rule, the rule that was made in Daniel 3, 8. Wherefore, at that certain time, or I'm sorry, at the time certain Chaldeans came near and accused the Jews. They spake and said to the king Nebuchadnezzar, O king, live forever. Thou, O king, hast made a decree that every man that shall hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, and dulcimer, and all kinds of music shall fall <coughs> down and worship the golden image. And whoso falleth not down and worshipeth, that he should be cast in the midst of a burning, fiery furnace. Mm. The Bible says Nebuchadnezzar here, he had made a decree that everyone to worship mm. that golden image. He was going to force the entire population yep. to do yes, as sir. Right. He was going to threaten them with death. He was going to threaten them with taking away everything that they held dear, taking away everything that they had. They was going to take everything that yes. they had. Mm. Now listen, if he took everything that you had, you might as well die. But he was looking to kill you mm. if you stood against him. Now, we're not living in a society yet to where we're <laughs> doing that. Yeah. But hey, there's been, yeah. uh, there's been places all over the world that you yeah. gospel used to be open. Mm -hmm. used to be open to the gospel. China. And now they'll kill yeah. you if you have a Bible in your hand. Yeah. Now, yes, they'll sir. They'll take your life if you meet in a place such as this. What's going to happen here, friend? Yeah, that's right. What's going to happen in America if certain people do get in and they start taking over? Oh, that'll never happen in my lifetime. That'll never happen to me. Did you ever think the day that you'd be denied service? Yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. my goodness. Right. Oh, my. Mm -hmm. Did you ever think that would happen? No, sir. I didn't. Oh, no. So, Tom, I didn't think that would happen in my lifetime. I never thought that was going to I didn't even. That wasn't even on my radar. Mm -hmm. that right. Something like that could happen. Mm -hmm. Sure. But they're denying people service. Sure. I'm like, because they're not complying mm. with what they want. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Oh, well, wow. we're doing that for health and safety purposes, Pastor. I understand. And I'm all for health and safety purposes. Well, what are we going to do whenever they look at us and say, well, you can't transfer money hand to hand anymore. You can't use a credit card oh, anymore. Yeah, you that's can't right. do none of that. So what we're going to do, we're just going to put a little barcode right here on your right hand. Right. We're just going to put a little chip right there in, mm. in, in your right hand. You say, well, Pastor, that, that's going to happen during the tribulation, yeah? Well, what's going to happen if they try to do it before then? That's right. Yep. Test the waters. Yeah. You're right. Right. That's what they're, they're doing. doing. Yep. Yeah. We'll be out of here when all that happens. Sure. Don't say of course we'll before. Well, what if it happened prior to taking the mark of the beast? Yeah. That's yep. what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. You're right. Yeah, I understand what Revelation says. I understand where it's saying that, that uh, you know, it's mark of the beast there on your right on your right hand. I understand all that. That you won't be able to sell, trade, or do anything of that nature. But what if it happens prior yeah. to that? Mm -hmm. My prior goodness. To that? I don't know. What are we going to do? We're going to take it? It's for health reasons. Mm -hmm. For safety. Mm. He's trying to force this entire population, Nebuchadnezzar, is trying to force them to bow down. Mm -hmm. Yep. That I'll take your life. Verse number four says, Then the herald cried aloud, To you it is commanded, O people, nations, and languages. Mm. His rule was made that everyone would do as he said. Mm. You will follow my rule. Now I know we talked about Romans 13 a minute ago. Some folks are chopping at the bit to tell me all about it after service, and that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I understand government set up by God. Yes, that's and right. They're doing right, as we talked about a moment ago. Y'all do know that's the same government that we were just talking about in Revelation 13. That's the same government that's going to be setting that up, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Like I said, they're already refusing service to people without masks. Hmm. What's going to happen whenever they refuse service to you because of how you stand? Will you back up on it? Will you change? Hmm. My goodness. It's coming. You're right, preacher. Mm. You just stand. Even so, come, O oh Lord. Yes, yes, sir. I hope we ain't got to deal with it, Brother Matt. Yeah. Right. I hope we ain't got to see no more of this garbage. I just, I just soon go ahead and, and may not go back to work because we're up in glory. Amen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's deal with this mess. Praise yeah. the Lord. I'm ready to go. Yeah. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Now, I, know, I know that that it's not real comfortable for all of us because I know that I've got family myself. Yes, sir. Me too. Mm. Yep. I got family myself. There's there's family amongst the people in these vehicles out here this morning that will not be there. You're right, It's kind of hard for us to even so come on, Lord, but yet, yeah. 
Even so, come on, Lord. That's yes, right. sir. Yeah. Amen. 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 The rule. We saw the rule there in verse number 12. We'll, we'll, we'll skip through some of this. I want you to see the racks. I want you to see the racks next. Oh. In Daniel 12, or 3, 12. There are certain Jews who now have set over the affairs of the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These men, O king, have not regarded thee. They serve not thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. There were some rats running around. You got it. And they were running around following the rule of the government. Mm. And they were running around tattling on people. Yep. They were yep. running around. If they lived in this day, Brother Mike, they were running around taking pictures. Yes, sir. Yeah. And sending it over a government lab. Yeah. They, they were, had no problem doing that. They were ratting people out, ratting their neighbors out. Mm. Oh, they so told we just got 12 people. Yeah. <laughs> Let them talk. Let them talk. Yes, yeah. sir. These rats right here, they were the ones they, they were the ones running by you at Walmart mm. when you didn't have a mask on. Yeah. You're the reason that they don't, we're not getting rid of this thing, Joe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got to wear the mask. You got to wear a mask. Oh, goodness. These rats were running around and said, hey, yes. Nebuchadnezzar, king, they're not following your rule. Mm. They're not doing like you said. Go get them. Go get them. Man, have you ever thought you'd see the day that Americans would turn on each other? No. No way. No. For the government? No. They have. You're right. There's no loyalty in this, in this country. Where's it at? Mm. You know what? They're not going to be loyal to me. I'm just going to be loyal to God. Amen. Yes, sir. Right. I'm going to do what God would have for me to do. These guys had bought the lie that Nebuchadnezzar had fed them. He had fed them this kind of lie that said that uh, uh, we're going to turn in your fellow man and I'll, I'll make much of you. You do this and I'll take good care of you. They're buying that. These people in society are buying that. And all they're doing is they're helping their government take cover or take rule over everyone yes. around them. Right. You're right, preacher. Yeah. And that's what Nebuchadnezzar's ruling was, or his rule was. Mm. And these rats come, and they helped him. There was a ruling that was made for them not obeying the king. The ruling was found in verse number 20. And he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and to cast them in the fiery mm. furnace. Y'all know what he did? Out of frustration, Nebuchadnezzar made this ruling out of frustration. How dare anyone not obey me? I'm going to flex my muscles. Right. How dare yeah. Preach. not bow down and do as I tell them to do? I'm going to shut them down. Mm -hmm. I'm going to close it for. I'm going to close it for another month if you don't listen to me. I'm yeah. Just open it up yeah. when I feel You're like telling it right. I'm yeah. going to do right. what I want to do. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's what Nebuchadnezzar did. That was his ruling. He said, "You know what? I'm going to kill you. You didn't follow my rules. Mm -hmm. That's right. I'm going to kill you." Mm -hmm. The ruling was death. How dare you not bow down to my every command? Mm. Oh my goodness. He made it in frustration, but he made this ruling also out of fear. Mm. Sure did. He was fearful that he would lose control. Control. Yeah, yeah. Fearful mm. he would lose control. That's good preaching. He was fearful that if one stood, others would stand. Mm. Yep. He was fearful that if that one boy stood and nothing happened, that second boy, that third boy, those three boys that stood, if nothing was done to them, there would right. be three more that would stand. That's exactly there right. There would be three more that stand. That's Y'all right. realize this morning that there Preach. is power yes, in, in numbers. In, in yes. yes, sir. Yes. Amen. Life, there's power in numbers. Yeah. If we will stand together. And do yes, God sir. Yep. To do. If God be for us, yeah, who can be That's us? exactly yes. right. Was for these young boys. Right. They stood. Never can have yes. that frustration. Mm. And I'll kill them out of fear. He said, I'm going to do this yep. because if not, then they will, they will, uh, uh, there will be more that will more. stand. They'll multiply. Right. <laughs> you made it out of fear. Yeah. Boy, look at what's happening in our society today. You're right, mm. preacher. The fear that is being gripped. Yeah. If we lose control, if we don't do what they tell it's us to do, mm. yep. if we don't, they don't do what we tell them to do, we'll shut them down. You're right. Yeah. We'll My keep them goodness. out of work. We'll bankrupt the whole state. Mm. Yeah, that's what they're doing. It's happening. Yeah. Yes, you're right. When he was stood against, Notice he made that ruling, but notice his rage mm. in verse number 13. Verse number 13, Daniel 3, 13. Then Nebuchadnezzar in his rage and fury commanded to bring Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Then they brought these men before the king. Mm. He was so enraged. How dare anyone stand against my order? 
And if I say that you are to bow to a golden mm. idol, you are to bow to that golden idol. You must do as I tell I am the king. Mm. I am the one in charge. I'm the one that makes the rules. Yeah. I will prove my point, and I don't care what it costs. Mm. Now, look in verse number 19. We're still going to look at his rage here. Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury, and the form of his visage was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Mm. You know what that is right there? It's his visage. He went from talking to them is uppity to a scowl. Sure. He went. He was angry, brother Matt. He was angry. He was. He was enraged at this point, and he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to mm. bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and to cast them into the fiery, burning fiery furnace. Then these men were bound in their coats, their hosen, and their hats and their other garments and were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace oh, therefore man. verse 22 mm. because the king's commandment was urgent and the furnace exceeding hot the flame of the fire slew those men yes and took up Shadrach, <laughs> Meshach and Abednego yeah. notice with me here when I was looking at this yesterday God pricked my heart on this mm. and I was sitting there in the cold come walking upstairs I was sitting there in my study she walked upstairs and I said that's good <laughs> and she said she said what I said I ain't telling you I said that's good I said no come I, I know he's talking about me he was just I, I love it he was so enraged mm. that he said something that had never been done before mm. I'm going to do something that has never mm. been done before Brother Matt, I'm going to heat that baby up seven times. Oh, my. Mm. Seven times hotter than, than mm. it's supposed to be. I'm so mad. I'm so enraged that people are not following my rules. Oh, my. I'm going to show them. I'm going to show them. I'm going to get my way, and I'm going to do what I I'm going to show my power, and I'm going to show my authority, mm. and I'm going to command something be done. So far fetch. Yeah. And watch everybody do it. Yeah. Yep. They did. Yeah. Can you imagine something mm. being heated up seven times mm. hotter? Yeah. That's just stupid. Mm. <laughs> Am I right? Right. Yeah. Fire is fire. Right. It's going to burn, it's right. going to burn you. Yep. What's You're that right. extra, extra six times going to do? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. But what it did do is through his rage, <laughs> this is good, he ended up killing mm. his most faithful people. You're right. He killed the men of the most prestige mm. in the society. Mm. He said, do it. And I want you to do it now and don't question my authority. Verse number 20, he says this. And he told the most mighty men in the army. Mm. These are the most decorated. These are the most successful men in that society. These are those that have the power, have the prestige. These are the ones who keep the king's economy mm. rolling. Oh, my. Wow. Are you picking up what I'm putting yeah. down? Yes, sir. <laughs> Through Nebuchadnezzar's rage, he killed mm. some of the greatest men mm. in his society. Wow. He took their livelihood away. Yeah. We can relate that today as he took their business away. Mm. Mm. He bankrupted them. Sure. Here he killed them. Nebuchadnezzar mm. killed them. Hurt his own economy. Mm. Because it hurt his own government. Yeah. Because it, he took the best that he had. But notice his demand for the people to bow down and rage cost him the best men that he had. Mm. Mm. Verse 22, therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent, and the first that's seen hot, the flame of the fire slew those men mm. that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He <laughs> killed the very ones that kept his government running. Wow. How about that? Mm. See, whenever you got too much power, and whenever you, like Nebuchadnezzar, mm. in your rage, you make ruling. Because them rats running around following your rules, you end up causing devastation. Sure. Yes, right. To the people that serve you. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. And that's what happened to Nebuchadnezzar. He took the greatest men that he had. Yeah. And they were slew mm. because of his rage for these young boys standing up against him. My, my. Hmm. We'll finish right here. That's good. Morning. I don't even know what time it is. Who we cares? Don't care. <laughs> I don't know too bad. Great. <laughs> with verse 23 through 25. 
I want you to see the rescue. We call the rule, the rats, the ruling, the rage. I want you to see the rescue. Verse 23. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down, bound into the midst of the burning fire furnace. Can you already hear them playing taps in the background? Mm. Oh, yeah. They're dead. Yep. They're, man, I mean, if it's one of these big boys up there before, just throwing them in, mm. surely they never even hit the ground. They didn't even feel the ground. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished and rose up in haste and spake and said unto the counselors, did not we cast three men bound in the midst of the fire? Oh, my. Mm. The answer he said unto the king, mm. true, O king. The answer he said, lo. Yeah. I see four men. Yeah. Woo. 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 Yeah. Amen. And they have no hurt. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's God. <laughs> Amen. And the form of the fourth is like to the son of God. Oh, yes. Amen. When they stood mm. against the tyrannical government. Yes. Yeah. Preach. When they stood against a tyrannical government, mm -hmm. Amen. when they stood against a tyrannical king, mm. God rescued them. Yeah. Yes, sir. Right. You may say, well, but, but they'll find us. God will make a way. Yes, sir. You may say, well, they'll shut us down. God ain't going to allow it. To That's right. I have, each one of you have a permission slip to be at church. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's called the Constitution of the United States. Yes, right. sir. Amen. That's right. As long as that piece of paper still exists, yeah. written and founded upon men who believed in God, yes, mm -hmm. sir. Yeah. We have the right to assemble. That's right. Yes, sir. In this place, Amen. I don't care if people are like you just are hanging out the window. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. We have the right. Oh, he does. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Mm. Plain and simple. When we stand with God, yeah. we stand. Yes, with sir. God. Right. Amen. Yeah. These young men had not so much. As a string singed on their clothes. Mm. They didn't so much as have a hair singed for the mic. They, they didn't Ooh, even smell, smell a smoke. No. That's exactly they right. Had nothing on them to show. They had the protection, Brother Tom. Of yes, yeah. sir. Church, when we stand yeah. with God, we Amen. Hallelujah. Then we will be able to yes. pass in the majority. We don't have <laughs> to right. worry about what anybody would do. To Preach us. on. We don't have to worry yeah. about yeah. what others will say about us. I'm more worried about the sinner out here mm. while dying. Yes, sir. There's a church that they can come to. Amen. Yeah. a place that they can come Amen. to find God. <laughs> That's right. Amen. Yeah. I'm more Amen. worried about them. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. I'm more worried about somebody under the sound of my voice, mm. somebody within the zip code of which I live in, Brother Matt, or within 30 minutes of here, not hearing the gospel because I'm more <laughs> worried about a thing. What Nebuchadnezzar has to say. Yeah. Oh, my. Yeah. Good preaching. <coughs> I knew it was going to happen. Get a black fly. Well, we need for lunch. Anyway, these young men stood. Help him, Lord. They didn't smell a smoke. Nope. Nothing. A tyrannical government can say and do all they want to against the child of God. Brother Peter, you and I will never be wrong standing for God. Amen. Right. That's Brother exactly Tom, right. We'll never be wrong nope. standing for this Bible. Nope. That's right. We'll never be wrong, Miss Rosemary, if we keep our focus on Him. Yes, sir. And we surround it around this Bible. Amen. Amen, preacher. We will never be wrong, Brother Mike. Take this as you will, but understand this. You say, well, Pastor, I thought you said you weren't preaching politics. I'm going to tell you what's happening today. Yeah, sure. It lines up with what happened then. Yes, oh, my. And I hope you understand this. You understand? This is why I say this. Take it as you will. Take it how you want to. I'm not saying I don't care. I, I want you to take it right. But that's between you and God. Satan has no new tricks. No, he doesn't. None. You're right, whatsoever. preacher. He has zero new tricks. But Tom, he is doing the same old stuff. Yep. And us dumb little humans, us dumb little Christians a lot of times, just continue to fall right back into his same 
trench. Yep. We just yeah. started. Yep. Okay. Yep. You're right, yep. preacher. Yep. Mm. Yep. If that's what you want. He has no new tricks. Right. This is a trick that was shown in, in, in Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego's yeah. day. It was shown there with Nebuchadnezzar. It's being shown again. Today. Right. What will yep. we do as a church? What will we do as the church of God? Will we stand? Mm. Will we rise up? Yep. Say, yes, right sir. Now, will we stand? <laughs> There's churches all over the state right. of Maine that are saying, open up next Sunday. Open yeah. up. Can't shut them all down. Yeah. Can't shut them all down. That's yeah. right. Can't right. Can't get y'all. Hey, look. That's yeah. right. Think about it like this. If they arrest anybody, it's me. Oh. <laughs> Amen. Y'all better get him out. <laughs> That's the first time I've heard you. She's happy about this. She goes, don't worry. Hey, I'm going to start it. I'm going to start a jail ministry over here in Matthias. Might be the way to go. Inside out. <laughs> Let me ask you this. But you can be sitting here saying, well, Pastor, you keep talking like this, keep doing stuff like that. They might take your tax exempt status. Mm -hmm. I don't care. I don't give, so I get back in. Right. right. Yeah. That's exactly and, right. And if you stop tithing, if they was to do that, you stop tithing, you ain't right with God. Right. Yeah. Amen, preacher. Amen. 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 Right. I don't give to get back. Right. right. I give to keep the work of God going. Amen. Yes. Right. I tell you to. Yep. There's nothing new under the sun yeah. with him. He's always tried. Good he preacher. always tried to mm -hmm. discourage the child of God. Yes. Let me ask you a question. Have y'all been discouraged over the past six weeks? Sure. Yes. Absolutely. It's discouraging, has it not, to be able Absolutely. to Absolutely. The people that you love, the yeah. people that you go to church with? Yes. I'll finish with this. Little man, if I can go to Walmart oh my. and rub shoulders with people I don't even know. Yeah, yeah. If I can go to Walmart and get yelled at by people I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You might heard that story. Y'all don't know. Six foot away, though. <laughs> I might get run over next week. Why in the world <laughs> can I not come to the house of God? Yeah. Yes, sir. Hey, hey, hey man. I know. Yeah. yeah. Why could I not? I, I hugged a couple of guys this morning. Yee yes, when they walked up, I shook their hand and hugged them. <laughs> and I still ain't coughing. No. Amen. <laughs> in all seriousness, all seriousness, if we can go do those things, then we surely can meet in the house of God. Yeah. Absolutely. With the people that we go to church yeah. with. Yes, sir. Amen. Yeah. Right. I hope this message touched your heart. Oh, amen. amen. I hope this message helped you. Mm. I hope it helped, it helped me when I was studying. Yes, you. sir. And how the parallels were yeah. there. We're closing a word of prayer, and I just, uh, we'll, we'll be back this evening at 5. Amen. amen. It's supposed to rain, so I'm going to have speakers in. I'm not going to turn the speakers on in now. I'm loud enough. <laughs> we'll be inside tonight. I hope to see each and every one of you tonight. Amen. And hope you'll be here, and uh, that we can worship God together. Father, yep. we love you. Father, we thank you, God, for the opportunity.